Hello, I'm Joe Baines. I'm effortless biohacking. And why processed food is bad. And pro now here's the thing, processed food isn't food. And the processed food industry isn't a food industry. They make products just like any, any other product on the market. They make products and their goal, their goal isn't, isn't your health, isn't your happiness. It's about profit. That's all it is. The processed food industry is motivated by only one thing and that is profit. And that is to make as much money as possible in the shortest time possible. And the only way they can do that is not by having customers, is not by having clients, it's by having addicts. What they do is they make their products as addictive as possible. Their marketing is designed to cause addiction. The, 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 the consistency, the crunchiness, the softness, the taste, everything in that food, all the chemicals in there, all the fats and the, the sugars and the carbs, everything in there, it's, design, it's not designed to heal, feed you. It's designed to cause an addiction in the brain. They have these people called food scientists and their job is to make that product, crisps, whatever it is, whether it's donuts, whether it's a McDonald's Big Mac, whether it's a McDonald's apple pie, whatever the food is or KFC bucket or whatever, whatever it is, perfect chicken, is to make it as addictive as possible. And so they put chemicals in there, they put all kinds of shit in there to make it as addictive as possible. It's designed to trigger in the brain addiction, cravings. That's why you can't live without them. Because now you're a cocaine addict. And cocaine addicts can't live without cocaine. Cocaine addicts need their fix. And so you need your fix of it, whether it's Coke, whether it's Pepsi, whether it's uh, McDonald's, KFC, Biscuit, Pringles, crisps, whatever it is. You're right? like a, a rat. You're like a mouse, <laughs> a rat in a in a cage who's been addicted, who's got addictions. Most people out there, 99% of the people, have addictions, have cravings, and very, very likely you're one of those. It's very rare that you'll be watching this and you wouldn't have any addictions or cravings. Just, you're just not aware of it. So, and also I've got to let you know that just because, so yeah, so why are they addictive? They're addictive because, you know, they get the consistency right. But why are they bad? Okay, so they are bad is because they're using the lowest quality ingredients because they're making millions of these things. These crisps, these biscuits, they're making millions. So if they can shave half a pence, a quarter of a pence of any product they will do because they want to make as much money as possible. And they want to extend all the foods that are addictive, all the foods that are um, uh, extend shelf life and their cheapest chips is sugar, vegetable oils, you know, flour, that kind of stuff. Um, and then the chemicals they put in there. So. What is it? What is in the in these um, in these processed foods that is bad? So they're one of the worst things in there is the sugar. So you look in there, they'll and sugar because customers, the consumers, clients, addicts, they're catching on to that sugar is bad. So they've started giving the sugar different names: maldextrose, high fructose corn syrup, whatever it is. There's like 30 different names for sugar so that you know you 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 won't catch on in there. So that, and then there's wheat or whatever right that is also bad for you because that leaches nutrients from your body uh then there's soya soya is 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 marked as uh, the healthy thing it's not okay it's toxic get it out of your life 
and then on top of that they'll have um, vegetable oils in there the vegetables are toxic to your body to your brain they cause inflammation so all of these things sugar the, the flour in there uh, the soya in there in these processed foods uh, the vegetable oils in there and whatever and the chemicals in there they all damage your body from the inside your brain and your body they they damage everything and then on top of that um, so what they will lead to is metabolic syndrome metabolic diseases metabolic diseases is like um, high blood pressure heart disease diabetes Alzheimer's so they, they will lead to those things in your body and you your your quality of life will suffer so every time you eat processed foods your quality of life suffers very very slightly but it's happening really slowly like very very slow so you don't realize it it's like the uh, frog do you know that if you if you um, if you boil a frog um, slowly you won't the frog won't realize that it's being boiled and you can boil it alive but if you heat put the temperature up quickly then um, the frog will jump out and you're the same if if they turn if the damage is done so slowly you won't you're not even aware of it it's like 0.1 percent every time you eat some junk food some processed food and over a period of time you just think that's normal so you don't realize that your quality of your life is slowly going downhill until it's too late uh, then you end up in hospital, then you end up with uh, metabolic diseases and all kinds of stuff. Yay! Um, and so that's why I'm, uh, I'm a lot more awake uh, about these things now. So just for those few minutes of pleasure, you're giving your future self a lifetime of pain, a lifetime of suffering, a lifetime of... Um, of a, of a shitty life so every time you eat processed or junk food you're giving your future self the gift of a shitty life of pain of suffering so what you're doing is t by having these um, processed foods and junk and foods having now, this pleasure now you're uh, storing up um, pain and suffering for your future self and he or she isn't gonna thank you for it so that's um, there we go that's that's my take on processed foods and by the way I've looked at restaurant food as well and food in cafes it's the same they'll cook whatever even uh, if it's they'll like cook it in um, in vegetable oils or something so yeah just be aware or they'll use aluminium or non-stick um, pans or whatever you know it'll be low quality so the ingredients even if you go into a restaurant and the ingredients in there is like saying organic steak or something right the way it's cooked in the what is cooked in and everything on the salts and all that they'll be low quality so yeah <laughs> and if there's like even eggs in a cafe or a restaurant they'll unless you know unless they say it's free range or organic they'll be um, factory farmed you know from a um, factory so yeah I know life's a bitch there we go all right enjoy